welcome to another ASP video. Today we're going to be making oatmeal cookies. I'm super excited, so let's get started. So before we begin, what you're going to need to do is set your oven to 350 degrees to get it ready for your cookies. Then you're going to need to get out butter. If it's not already soft, you might want to take it out before you begin or use the microwave to soften it up. Then you'll need to get flour, brown sugar, sugar, oats, vanilla, baking soda or powder, salt, and also an egg but I've kept mine in the fridge for now. As for measuring cups, you're gonna need one cup, a half a cup, a quarter cup, a half a teaspoon, and a full teaspoon. Just in case you are someone who needs to read things to understand them better, um, here is a list of the different ingredients you will need. What you want to do next is get out one or two cookie sheets. Um, if your cookie sheets aren't stick free, then what you're going to want to do is spray it down with some sort of cooking oil or Pam, just so that the cookies don't stick to your cookie sheet. The next step is to, in a large bowl, put your half a cup of butter, your two teaspoons of vanilla extract, half a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of sugar and you're going to crack your one egg and put it all in the bowl. After all these ingredients are in there, then you can mix it up real well together with a spatula. Next, you're going to mix in three quarter cups of flour, then one and a half cups of oats, then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then a half a teaspoon of salt. After these are all in the bowl, you can mix them together really well so that you make your batter. Once all your ingredients are mixed together, you can use two tablespoons to form little mounds or balls of cookie dough and place them on your baking sheet um, so that they aren't touching about two inches apart. Once you are done that, then you can put your cookies into the oven on the middle racks. Um, if they both don't fit on the rack, then what you want to do is halfway through your time, just flip them so the one that was on the bottom is now on the top and the one that's on the top is now on the bottom. You want to set your timer for about 13 minutes, however you should stay close to your oven just in case um, you don't need that much time, so you should be continually checking on your cookies when they are golden brown on the bottom and you can stick a toothpick into the middle of the dough without any dough coming up, then you know your cookies are cooked. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your oatmeal cookies turned out super awesome. Um, we'll see you in the next video.